pitch. It looks like they're going four wide to five wide, but they're side by side. Connor is sideways, absolutely sideways for the last few corners. Oh, but he's off in the gravel and he spins. Rob has made a bit of a dive. It's actually hit his teammate Craig. And so they've all got stuck in the gravel. And Joe gets the switch back to fantastic racing. Look at that. It's Oh, contact, but it's Rubbings Racing. Joe McCall takes his first ever win just ahead of Connor. The fantastic race. He's going to take the sixth. Or is it? Oh, it just gets him. And is Darren going to take it? No, he doesn't. Mark Nicholl takes the race. Josh is the independent champion for season three. Craig Kelly is your season three winner and champion. On the front row we have Rejet Racing with Reese Niles and Adam Brock. On the next row we have Stephen Rice for Team Sates and his Nissan GTR, alongside Callum Baker for LastMinute.com and his Jaguar f -Tone. Afterwards we have Joshua Carter for JC Figio Motorsport and Simon Crossman for SW Motorsport. Aaron West for Monster Energy Racing with Aaron Roden for the Team Sensors and same GTR. For the BR Racing we have Buster Griffiths and Carl Hemmings. And at the back of the grid is Connor Hewitt for LastMinute.com and his Jaguar f -Tab. Right, round four, race three for Dragon Trail. Waiting for the red lights to go out to go racing. And away they go. Good stuff from both the uh, Mazda Z and the GTR. Yeah. Can up coming through. So got four abreast. Callum's got the inside. That cat's Callum go away oh. completely Callum's off. Gone. Where's he gone? Who's that spinning? One of the Jags there. I think, it was, uh, I think it was sideways Simon. Three Jags at the back of the in. Not a good start for the Jags. No, it's not. Buster doing a lot better this time round. Yeah, he's got back to the super soft tyres now. Reese Niles has dropped down already, unfortunately. Oh. Just a little bit of lack of experience, I think, at the moment. Both the Mazdas. So bust that up into fourth. Aaron Rest right behind him with the inside. Not on the right foot this time. Sucks back in behind. So a bit of a fight going on in the chicane park. Oh shoot oh, wide through there. It's always gonna be a bit messy. Slow Joshua down. Buster makes it up into third. A lot of better results so far for Buster. Yeah, look, look, a lot more right has gone wide. Got the grass. Keep it going. He's got back on track. He's lost about three, four places there. Third to seventh. It's a shame. Really putting the pressure on the front two guys there for a second. Team Saints has got away with the lead again. Just to go and wide again. Just trying a little bit too hard at the moment. Let's just settle down. Might not be his favourite track for that Mustang. Connor's going up the inside. Gonna make a move. A little bit of contact there. Push past the wide. Buster's coming back at him. Connor's gone wide. We're all going wide. <laughs> Again, this is one of those corners there, all of a sudden everyone's going wide. Once, once, follow. They all follow. 
Yes, and last race again, the elbows are out and everybody's keen to, to make yeah. up for anything they haven't done earlier on in the, the racing. Reese doing very well in this one so far, up into third. Aaron comes flying up the inside, but Reese squeezes that gap closed. Joshua looking to make a move as well, trying to get back up there. I don't think Joshua's going to chance it this time. Again, all three of them slightly different lines through a very tight chicane. I don't know how they managed to do that. And West going up the inside nice and clean. Reese gets the cut back. Yep, right. Reese just at the hour, going to call him for a second. <laughs> In again. Aaron's got the inside. Can he hold the line through the first chicane? He does. Joshua Carter's got with him. I have to say, Joshua Carter doing very well in the BMW. He's the only one who's gone for it. Yeah, and Seems to be on his own each week as well, hasn't, hasn't got a teammate with him. No. Depends on whether his connection can hold out then. He has a lot of uh, internet connection problems, he does. GTRs just staying ahead in the front. So Aaron's got the lead with Stevie in second. I think we might have spoken too soon. <laughs> I think his internet connection has cars. gone again. I think the guys after the meeting should have a bit of a whip round for him and then find something better to dial up. Yeah. So Aaron now up in second, challenging for the lead. Goes up the inside. Aaron's got that Renault absolutely flying at the moment. Gets a lead from Stevie. Stevie tucks it behind him. Coming yeah. down to that first chicane. Stevie having a look, but deciding against it at the moment. A little bit of contact there again. Nothing bad though. No, uh, side by side. Aaron Rowland as well for Team Saints, looking like some, yep, gets past Aaron West. Stevie, the late on breaks, goes wide. These three again having a good battle. Lost it up to fifth. Simon in seventh. Fitzy in eighth. Carl is in ninth. Callum in tenth. It's a shame for Callum. Started high up a bit this time, but yeah. slipped right back down in the first few laps. Aaron takes the lead, Aaron Rowland. Aaron West in the Renault just behind him. And Stevie looking to come up the inside of Aaron at the moment, taking the second away from him. Team Saints 1 2 again at the moment. Maybe even before it, here we go, he's going to go around the outside. Around the outside of this turn, puts him on the inside for the first part of the chicane. Both late on the brakes here. Yeah. Simon just gets a little bit of advantage. 
Great defending from Simon. Late on the brakes. Easy runs wide on the exit, but kind of quite get close enough to capitalise on that at the moment. Adam saying Buster in view. Buster at the moment is in a sandwich. Both the uh, Mazda's in the front one behind. A little bit twitchy at the moment. Still get to use, used to the car, I think. Oh, yeah. I think these two are ones to watch. Definitely, they like could you know, get a few races under the belt, get to know the car a bit better. Oh. Oh, this will be pushing right up there, uh, maybe even a podium in the next couple of visits. I think they will definitely be going for a win at some point through the season. Simon on the same part again. Yeah. Can he do this move again? Can he make it make a stick, get past it? Simon defender, Simon goes to the inside. Connor's got the rating line, so can he get a better exit? Which he does, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. He's to back out of it again just before this bend. Connor waiting so patiently. Simon's stretch is making his jack very big on the track. Yes. Struggling to find a way past. together to close that little gap that Aaron's got in the front. Stevie closing right in there on Aaron. Really close to it now. Possibly make a move in the next bend or two. Both Saints challenging for that first place to get one and two. Down West they will make it really hard for him. He's looked fast at every race so far here at Dragon Trail. Steve looks like he's going to go for the challenge. There, but looks like Aaron and Aaron now side by side. Aaron Ronan just pulls out of that to be safe. Saints boys need to be a little bit careful racing each other. They could end up causing a bit of problems for themselves while they're trying to catch Mr. Energy Racing Renham again. Aaron Rowland going a little bit wide, touching that grass. Yeah, luckily the GTLs with their four-wheel drive are a little bit more forgiving when that happens. We don't 
in it too many times because you do end up losing a quite a bit of speed. Yeah. Definitely got some kind of glitch going on there, though. Yep, I think something's not quite right. Still managing to race each other quite nicely, but. Outside. Now West closed the door yet again. Stevie takes out the running for the Saints. Stevie says to Aaron, let me have a go, see if I can do it. <laughs> Buster back in fourth now, has got past Adam Brock. So he's managed to get out of that sandwich. But they are just on the back and I see Connor catching them as well. Quite a gap between them and the front three at the moment. But maybe if this lot, this lot can kind of race together quite cleanly, then possibly they could catch up with those front three. Adam now up the inside of Buster. Reese on the outside. Three abreast going into the bend. And that's Reese going right around the outside, done to all of them. That's a great move. Now Connor's going to be joining in to the battle. Up alongside Adam. Just gets a nose in front. Jags look really fast down this home straight section. Reese swapping over again, Buster gets back in the lead. And this little pack. A little bit of an issue coming out of that bend. Yeah. Coming up a little bit. Coming wide. Jaguars have just started to get a bit too much around this track. Yeah, it don't look like the Jags re really don't like this track, the look of it. Definitely, it's strange that you know, some cars suit different tracks, definitely. Yeah. Jags, the Jags have been struggling, kind of been really well to get up there in the last race. Yep. Yeah. Just a lead in this pack of four round. Connor now looking up the inside. With stick. He's had to back out because of the chicane. Probably a wise move rather than trying to go to a breast through there. Yes. Adam's just dropped off those three for a minute. Go through a breast and now Reese. Tries to go out the inside, but Buster undercuts him. He's kind of going to try to move. I don't think he is. Not, caught, not yet. No, he's playing the waiting game. Nice and sensible. I think too aggressive there that could cause any problems for anybody. Right at the back of Buster at the moment. Buster's turned to make that car really wide. Saying that, he's gone right off the track. Just gone off. Oh, Connor gets well sideways. Just so caught Connor, I think, on the point he came back on. Late on the brakes, no, Dax back out of that one. Yeah, good line for the year. Trying to get the better exit. Mm 
these four are very close choice than these four. It's great to watch, isn't it? It's so close. Yeah. Just on the outside of this bend, looking to make it stick. Why? Again, Connor's got a great run out of that corner. Literally all of them, bumper to bumper. Kind of goes up the inside, Buster goes round the impressed. outside. <coughs> Looks like Reese holds on, Buster comes through, Connor tucks in, but then we have Adam, which is still there. Adam be playing the, the better game here and just biding his time, waiting for maybe the three of them to come together. That's Simon in the background, so it's a good Simon catch up. Oh, Ooh, Connor kind of goes off. Oh, he just got a bit back wheel. Oh, and, and that's Reese. Like Got a little bit messy through there. Reese has dropped down as well. They all kind of come together. Hello. Stretchy to get up to sixth. <coughs> and as I say that, Stretchy goes on. I don't think Stretchy's liking this track at all. Now again. Dislikes the Jag struggling. Yeah, power Connor just went past him. So does Reese. He stretches that one too many hatches. But now it's Adam's turn to try and challenge Buster, sitting at the back of the four of them, sitting there patiently. He's done it. He's got the move done. With two laps to go. The fight is still going on. Buster's not giving up, he's gone late on the brakes. He's gone around the outside. The first part of that chicane. Made it work. We had him starting to think, what do I need to do to keep him from? <laughs> it's like Aaron Rowland now. He's taken the lead and got a little bit of a gap now about to Aaron West. His teammate Stevie. <laughs> Nissan, Renault, Nissan. Yeah. Aaron West in the sandwich of the Team Saints. Yeah. Once again. Oh, that's oh, Steve. No, yeah, just got that wrong coming through that second part of the chicane. You can see the damage on the car there as well, where he caught the, yeah. caught the wall. That's quite a bit of time there. The buster drifting through that bit. Yeah. It looks like Connor's caught back up. Yeah. Adam looking up the inside of Buster, kind of looking around the outside at the moment. Might get the cut back in. Gets that power coming out. Yeah. Slow into the bend wide. So it's a good exit. Three of rest down the straight on the final lap they go. Shame that one, the last, last lap, that would have been a fight to the line, that would have been. Brilliant photo finish for them. Buster makes it stick again, holds his line. Again, Buster, as I said earlier, is very quick through that section, that first yeah. chicane. <clears throat> Buster, Connor, Adam. All of them all got different racing lines. Reese just behind him again. A little bit out of touch. It looks like Connor has to make the Mustang go wide as possible to yeah. get a good corner. 
front tree going through the chicane for the last time there. Buster holding on here. Let's Steve eclipse the wall again, but it's all down to the two Aaron's. What is Aaron Rowland going to do? He tried, but Aaron West holds on the brakes. Looks like it's going to be to the line. And it looks like Aaron West takes the win with Aaron Rowland who goes into second. Stevie, unfortunately, with that last can instant, then keeps there, but drifts off the front two. Connor's now got up to fourth. Comes away. Connor fourth, Buster fifth, sixth is Adam, and Reese is seventh. Sideways, Simon. This is sideways across the line in eighth. As he does. Adams can come away with a ninth. Yeah, might be a little bit disappointed with this one after the last race, but... So the, the Jags seem to have struggled a little bit at this track. Yeah. yeah the ninth. And here comes Carl now. Another one who seems to have struggled at this track a little bit. Yeah. Stuck uh, it out to the end. And takes points for tenth. Thank you. 